Okay, a little uh, housekeeping. <laughs> housekeeping mini. I don't know. It's just a term they use all the time. You know, I guess on uh, on YouTube, whatever, when they're posting, they always say housekeeping and they ask you to subscribe and, you know, like and all that stuff. I don't do that because let me just explain. <laughs> Because if you ever look at this channel, he said, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. He doesn't even have a lot of views. Boy, is he wasting his time. And remember, from the beginning, he's never monetized. In fact, when, he, when they asked him to monetize, somebody called him or sent an email. I said, I would never monetize this, this channel. And I haven't. You know, I don't know. I've just been going for two years, three years. I forgot how long it's been going. Anyway. So housekeeping and that, that's the thing that they use. And everybody's all concerned too because YouTube or whatever they're doing, people can't make money off of this anymore because they can't make money in society. When I say they can make money, but they have to be, I don't know, placid. They have to, I don't know, they can't upset people. I don't know how they do that. But there's a lot of schemes. You can do Patreon and, you know, the rest of that stuff. Anyway, this is actually going to be short. I just wanted to, you know, um, uh, uh, the other thing is, I should say this, this is interesting. I do have skills. I can actually do inserts and graphics and all the rest of that stuff. You know, I actually have a Mac, or uh, whatever you call Pro there, and uh, you know, whatever. I I can do those things, but I, that's not what this channel is about. I just talk, and I don't, you know, I just talk. <laughs> and a lot of times, um, uh, when you hear me uh, speaking. Uh, I don't, um, it seems like I don't know what I'm talking about. I, sometimes I leave uh, uh, pregnant pauses, sometimes I don't feel this stuff, because it's it's YouTube, it's on, it's on video. If, if, if you want to check out what I say, you just stop and check it out. If, if, uh, you have to correct me, correct me. Sometimes I correct myself for show notes. Anyway, a lot of the channels, uh, you, you're not, not, but some channels you see, uh, or at least websites, whatever have you see favorites, and then they list it and all the rest of that stuff. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> in fact, I'm pretty. This, this internet thing is getting me. I won't say upset, but it's getting me. Uh, it's getting pretty strange because, like, for instance, on my phone, I have. It's up here being. Who get out of here? Up here being uh, something. But on the phone, um, I should go here. On my phone, if I can. Oh, better not do that. Okay. Uh, on my phone, uh, usually, you know, we have, you have these things. Uh, come on, I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, say I go to my, uh, whatever page, I guess you call it, your, your, your page here. You know, I have certain icons there, but when I go into the thing, I go into Google, you know, they always suggest things, whatever have you. And my, I'm, I'm sort of upset because a lot of, a lot of the things that I look, that, that, I, that I look at, you know, all the time, they don't list those kind of things. They give me stuff that I'm not really interested in. I don't understand how that, that works. I may have looked at something once or went past on one time, all of a sudden it's there forever. Come on, something like, uh, say for instance, Black Agenda Report. Uh, well, you know, I check them all the time, but they're not on my, you know, they never come up like that. So I don't know how they work that system, but, you know, they talk about net neutrality, whatever have you. I think they, the, the stuff is in already. Anyway, like I said, this is supposed to be short. I just want, because people list, you know, stuff uh, uh, also recommended, whatever, you know, also if you like this thing like that. Well, <clears throat> I get a lot of my information, uh, well, from reading, really, uh, but also from, you, from, 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 you know, from the net. But there are some, there's some channels uh, that I look at. Now, a lot of times I don't necessarily agree with what they're saying. Um, and sometimes I do check out these right-wing channels. It's, surprisingly, it's very interesting. I've been listening, uh, or just going back and listening a little bit to uh, Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter says they call it a right-wing. I don't like these labels. They call it a right-wing, whatever. You know, that's, she, she was in Trump's because she, She's the one that predicted that Trump would be the one, and she also predicted that the best one to beat him would be Bernie Sanders. He did this way before anybody. And I really like Ann Coulter's mind. I mean, if, I, if you really look at it, if you strip away these labels that they put on you, and you strip away people who are you know, gut reaction yelling at her, whatever have you, because they don't have any data. She says stuff that makes a whole lot of sense. So it's like anybody. I mean, if you're, if you're a whole person, or a whole person, you know, maybe, I mean, if you're good, then maybe, you know, uh, let's say 66% of what you're saying, you know, maybe, you know, all right. But you got to admit, like, 33% might be garbage, you know what I mean? So a lot of people uh, think that she's, you know, her, her 66 is really 33, but, you know, I, I think that she, well, let me put it this way. Ann Coulter makes a whole lot more sense than a whole lot of other people. Let's put it that way, okay? Okay, now back to the point. 
So I made a short list. It's, it's not. It's not that long. Of uh, uh, sites that I regularly go to and that that, that, that I really like. Uh, now I'm leaving out. Um, am I leaving out? No, no, I'm not. Um, now, first, I want you to, to, to know about this thing called uh, well, uh, Breaking Brown, BreakingBrown.com, uh, or just put uh, Yvette Cornell, Y-V-E-T-T-E-C-A-R-N-E-L-L. -L. It used to be on my videos, I don't really mention a whole lot of names or whatever, but I want to put Yvette Cornell, because out of all of the analysis I've seen for a whole, from, from, the, from, the, from my, my early teens of black arts movement, you know, whatever, all the way to now, uh, she, as, as far as a, a, let's call it a pundit, but just as an observer of society, she to me has, the, she's authentic. And she brings up stuff, and I'm always, and I'm not looking for the herd stuff, like everybody does the herd stuff, you know, everybody, if Trump goes and visits the Pope, everybody's talking about the Pope. Well, I don't know about that. In fact, you know how that started? <clears throat> Still, I can back to say it. It's interesting, this media thing. Now, I can't tell you the exact, I can't remember the exact time, but it must have been around 1960. 67, 68, 69, somewhere around there, maybe in mid 60s, there was a decision made. But remember, back, back then we only had, in, in the States we're talking about, we only had like three, you know, the NBC, ABC, and CBS stations. And uh, there was a decision made at that particular point that, that the first part of any newscast, talking about the 7 o'clock news, and any part of any newscast would all, they would always start out whatever the president said. And the president might get 15 minutes to say whatever he wants. They would just already report on the presidency. That was kind of strange, you know, because sometimes the president didn't do anything noteworthy. But, you know, so anyway, so when the internet explodes, whatever, when the internet comes along and then and also cable TV explodes, they use that same model, you see? And that doesn't use that model, you know. She uses what's important to the black community, which is very interesting. Also, let me just keep keep on that. So that was installed. Then also somewhere, and I can't remember either, but because I don't watch a lot of TV, that's the big problem. Um, I think it was the early '70s, mid '70s. Mm, I can't say. Maybe, I can't be, maybe the late '70s. I just started to know um, they kept on putting on financial information, you know. And maybe they had it before, but it kept them bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, of course, they have for financial cha channels, which they don't know what they're talking about. And I was wondering why, because nobody I knew was into stocks and nothing like that. But on every newscast and every station, they would always put this, you know, the Dow Jones Industrial, the up and down, whatever have you. And I said, that had nothing to do with my world, but it wasn't for my world, obviously. And now we see that what's controlling everything is the, me is the, is the media and, 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 and Wall Street. That's, those are the two things that was put into place in the 60s, 70s that started getting so unconscious and that we sort of have to pay attention to that. Sports has always been there. We're not talking about sports, but pay attention to that. Well, that's kind of strange. So anyway, so now we have a situation with, with the internet exploding. People have certain, they have their, what we call their lane, and sometimes they don't report on what you, you know, what, what the mainstream is reporting. And quite frankly, what the mainstream is reporting on, or as Sarah apparently said, the lane street media is reporting on, is not really, it's not really relevant. But let me say, what the, they may report on it, but they don't dig deep enough. They don't really have any analysis for what they're doing. You see, that well, the analysis is not backed up with, with data or whatever happened. Remember, they've got to put out a program every, you know, five days a week, you know, constantly. And it takes a, takes its toll. You have a large staff. Anyway, a lot of these staff people don't know what they're talking about either. So anyway, I want all to say that, that, that the internet is important. Everybody's point of view, including mine and yours, is very important, which is what interesting. That's why we have these, uh, that's why the comment sections are always good and whatever, like that. Okay, back to the thing. Here's the things that I, I look at. Um, Breaking Brown, I told you, uh, you've had corners. How she usually broadcasts every, uh, I guess in the States would be uh, 9 o'clock on Mondays and Wednesdays. I catch her, well, you know, like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning here in South Africa. Uh, then, of course, I can just catch her at the end. So, Yvette Cornell is one. Uh, Jimmy Dore is a comedian, and he does, he does this thing, and he's really, he's, he's, well, he's a Democrat that was disillusioned by what was happening. He's, a, he's one of those Bernie Democrats. I don't like those labels. He's, he's a Democrat. He, he, he's, a, he's a comedian that's political, and, and, and I find this analysis very good and very entertaining, right? And there's a sister named Cecilia Velvet. And um, there's two there's two people that I, I, I go for. How do I say? Um, uh, this 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 strata's in the black community, and and and, and Velvet does that deals with uh, mainly hip hop and that kind of um, uh, Hollywood kind of thing, music music industry kind of things. It's like gossipy, but 
I mean, she's just pure entertainer. I like the way she talks. She's authentic, whatever happens. Always, always live for authenticity. In fact, on that same tip, on that same line, uh, the other one, like everybody likes the breakfast, breakfast club. I'm not really into the breakfast club. I, 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 I watched it. I found out about them when I was visiting my sister. Well, I found it before they went to the If you want to stay in touch with that kind of guy, it's breakfast club for you, but I don't like the breakfast club. In fact, there's another guy, and I don't like Sway either. There's another guy in New York, a Latino guy, that I, uh, that I find them more interesting, but I'm going to get into that. I forgot who they are. Everyone comes down there. But the other person like like Cecilia Vella is Corey Hokum. I think it's uh, 5150, whatever his, his thing is. They, I mean, I just like that crew. Then there's this young, there's his brother on the crew that makes a lot of sense. I guess he may be even the host. Anyway, Corey, but Corey's just a comed another comedian that's just raunchy and he's just off the hook. I mean, talk about authenticity. Oh well, it's Corey. Uh, so, like that. Uh, back to so called serious. Then, of course, uh, I look at, uh, I check out Democracy Now uh, when they cut up the things. I don't watch the whole program. Every once in a while, you know, I check Democracy Now. I have to. I have, um, um, I, uh, I used to uh, hang out with Democracy Now. Hang out. I used to work for Democracy Now. So, full full disclosure and all that stuff. Uh, uh, the real uh, Merkaba. Is that how you say it? Merkaba? Anyway, this brother does a lot of Egyptian stuff and a lot of religious stuff. And I check him out every once in a while. I like him. A nearly full of junior, of course, uh, a comp compensatory concept. Um, uh, I check. I check him out. Uh, uh, oh, now a big one. Kaiser report. That's what Stacey Herbert and Max Kaiser. Very important. Very important program. Even if you don't even... Look, here's how I got into Max Kaiser. I was uh, I came here to Alice in about 2014, yeah? And where I was staying, they had, there was, it was a, it was a bed and breakfast, but, but we, we, I rented the whole place, you know, I only had about three rooms, but they had TV, so I would watch RT, you know, RT, a Russian TV, and, and Max came on. And the first, he has, his program is a half hour, it's in two parts. The first part is Stacey Herbert reads, sort of gets headlines and, and she uses a lot of charts and stuff like that. And, uh, and Max just, she says something, he just goes crazy off. He's just uh, like a nutter, you know, a nutshell. I mean, I said, oh, this is entertaining, so I used to watch it. But then the second half of the program, this half hour program, he always has an expert. You know, I would say expert. Somebody knows what they're talking about in the field. Uh, famous like Kim dot com or whatever his name is in, in, in Australia or New Zealand wherever he's at. Uh, 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 you know, he's got a lot of people. Uh, uh, Steve Keen, uh, from, from, well he's in the UK now. Uh, uh, these are economists and stuff like that. Uh, Joe Salente, those kind of, in that, that sort of lane. Anyway, that second half is very, very informative and he sort of calms down then. Sometimes he goes off too. But Max Kaiser, I mean, you really, really need to check him out. Even if you have, don't want to know anything about finance, really, it's just important to check Max out. He might be running for Congress. It's going to be interesting what happens with Max. Um, uh, the, uh, the Colbert Report. Uh, it's also connected with media. Well, Colbert Report, he's the guy that lives in, 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 in uh, Japan. Uh, I think the Northwest part of Japan, North, whatever. And, and he does reports from there. One of those, um, this is, uh, let's say, very ultra progressive, beyond, whatever's beyond progressive, that's where he is. Beyond progressive and rightly for conspiracy. That's where, uh, that's where, uh, 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 think, um, uh, what's his name? James Colbert. Uh, Colbert. Yeah, yeah. James Colbert uh, uh, is his name. And he has this other guy, uh, uh, James Evan Pilato, that he, he, he talks to once a week. Uh, and he need uh, to, Evan Pilato, uh, James Evan Pilato does a uh, media market monarchy, which I like him too, and, but I don't, I mean, once in a while I look at him. There's another, uh, Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow, he calls himself an Israelite. I'm not really sure about him, but a lot of stuff he says, survival stuff, and just this basic religion, even some most of the religious stuff, very, very interesting, and I really appreciate him, and I watch him. He posts all the time, watch him, everyone. There's a thing called uh, uh, Serpensa. And this guy, uh, I think his name is Winston. He's he's actually a South African with, a, with British ties, but he lives in uh, in China. He gets a lot of insight into China and just traveling. And I really like I like him a lot, so I check him out. Uh, I mentioned Black and Gender Report as, a, as an example early in this uh, commentary, but Black and Gender Report I have to check him out once a week. And then of course there's also the Real News, uh, the Real News Network on RealNews.com out of out of Baltimore. And those are the things uh, that, that that and then well, a lot of things inform me. But, but I find that those are, are authentic, authentic uh, uh, posts. Like, I feel like I'm authentic. I hope I'm authentic. So that's what I say. When you look for stuff, look for authenticity. Uh, and when, when somebody is sponsored, I sometimes look at this thing. Uh, uh, today I know, uh, 
but I'll tell you, I found that I whatever, this is from England. And, and I like their insights, but uh, those commercials, and now they're doing com the, the whole actual host and now doing commercials and stuff like that. And I really don't like that at all. Yeah, it's enough that they try to uh, put these little blurbs in, in, in between stuff. I just don't like that. Uh, uh, one of these hosts reading that. Um, so that's it. But people have to make their money the way they have to make their money. And, and um, I do some tech channels, you know, the, uh, whatever have you, but I won't get into that now. So anyway, so those, those are really the political stuff and the gossip stuff that I do. So um, and make your list too. You know, in fact, uh, if you are... To, the people who are listening, just if you want to put in, in, in the comments uh, what what channels you find um, that, that give you the most information or, or, or start you to thinking uh, thinking differently. Uh, but let me go back to this. Uh, so, but but right, just let me say that the, the channels I really like you to watch or you know, people is breakingbrown.com. Very very important. Very very important. Uh, Jimmy Dore, uh, Neely Fuller Jr. And Kaiser Report, I would say, and that all. Black and General Report is for me. It's not for you. Uh, so, so those are those are the ones I would say. You, you should, and Real News Network a lot. Uh, but Real News Network and Democracy Now, they do a lot uh, similar stuff. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, just remember those. Uh, BreakingRound.com. Thank you so much. Talk to you again. Uh, I, I will talk to you again. Me, I, me, me. T for the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.